Hey there, Elizabeth Scala here, and welcome to my kitchen dining area. I'm going to show you two other activities that you can do at home if you're not able to get to occupational or physical therapy. Remember, I am not an occupational or physical therapist. I used to be a patient of occupational therapy for an elbow injury. And so there were times I could not get to occupational therapy because of limited transportation, my own inability to drive, what have you. So I still wanted to do the activities and do them from home. Some of the activities, what I'm going to show you today, uh, ball rolling and table slide, we would do um, at a heightened table, meaning at my therapy location, they would have tables that could raise or lower to suit the need of the activity. Well, at my house, I don't have a raising tray table. If you do, that's great. I would utilize that. But I had to look around. My kitchen table is too low. I have a high top uh, four seated table that's too high. So this actual counter is the perfect height. And I'm not even sure what to call this area other than a counter. That being said, let's get to the activities. So one activity I had to do was called ball rolling. <laughs> Pretty easy name to remember. And it was a big, big green ball. And I don't have any balls that large in my home. However, my friendly, fun, silly, playful pup named Rusty has this uh, dog ball that he plays with out in the yard. So I found this. And uh, again, that green activity ball at therapy was so much larger, so I could be lower and be doing the activity. Since this ball is smaller, I kind of want it right at this height. So literally, and then at my therapy, uh, when I had to go to occupational therapy, they would set a timer. So I use my phone and I set a timer for two minutes. And then I literally did the ball um, rolling. And I'm just going to briefly mimic what I used to do. So rolling forwards and back. You could do, again, thinking about the height. That's what this video is about, is thinking about the height of your area. Um, they also had me do, and then I would turn this way, ball rolling side to side to get that movement in laterally. And then finally, they had me doing um, counter clockwise and clockwise rotations. So again, setting my cell phone timer for two minutes, doing the activity that I had available with the smaller bowl and finding a heightened table for me. Another activity that they had me do again on that raised table platform type situation uh, was called towel slides and we can all find a bathroom or a kitchen towel in our home, right? And then I need, so I'm not jacked up right in my shoulder, I need a good height where my elbow can rest, my forearm I should say, see I'm not an occupational therapist, my forearm, uh, again if you have restrictions, uh, rules, regulations, limitations placed upon you because of your occupational therapy or physical therapy, follow those therapist guidelines first. Anyway, uh, for my table slide it was essentially sliding my arm, forearm, out and in away from my body so that I was getting uh, the movements for my elbow. And so again, finding this counter at this height for me worked out perfect. Uh, but again, a dining room table, a kitchen table, kind of walk around your house and find for your activities what height is going to suit the activity that you have to do. If you're interested in um, chatting with me, asking questions, leaving comments, um, learning more about yoga or Qigong classes, please visit me at elizabethscala.com. Thank you.